handle. So uh, Antique of the Map and the game is underway with uh, formerly Millennium. Now yeah. Evil Geniuses <laughs> Stefano spawning down in the bottom right-hand corner of Antigua Shipyard and MTW Damaga up in the top left. Yeah, so uh, I would say Antigua is definitely a map where I don't think they'll both be as greedy, especially Stefano since he lost the first game. Uh, just because this map, uh, there's a little trick Zergs use to, wh and, and one reason why they're so greedy when they have to fight against things like early pools is when you have a base with a certain set of a mineral line where they have like this, it's a little triangle formation mineral line where you have two minerals on the outside and then one kind of tucked between them in the back and you can tuck all your drones if you mine the minerals. Like if you spam right click the minerals, you can tuck them all into one little location and it really prevents the Zerglings from getting in like a lot of surface area on the drones and you can actually, when your drones are that stacked up, you can attack and kill all the drones, or like a Ling one-shotting them with your drones. So it's it's definitely, uh, this map is definitely does not favor the super greedy opening. As, as you can see, as I'm saying that, Damaga's actually gone for a 10 pool. So there you go. He, he understands that. And he knows that if, if Stefano's really greedy, that he'll just kill him right here. Very interesting and a, and a cool point that you're making there, Vibes. Stefano hasn't thrown down his spawning pool yet. And in fact, it uh, looks like he's going to go up, yeah, 15 drones. He might want to hatch first. If he does the same opening that he used on Daybreak, he might be in some trouble. He didn't get his spawning pool until 16 supply after his hatchery. Yeah. And uh, here we have Dima's pool. It is it is done. So. I, I really hope, for Stefano's sake, that he doesn't go to 16 drones here. He's actually making the one drone right now, and this is already a little greedy, and he's going to 16. Oh. So this is very greedy. And then now it's all, this is all up to Demago whether or not uh, and uh, he's actually going to commit to the LN. As you can see, the drones have been pulled. So I, I, I fear for Stefano. He's going to have to have some insane micro to come back from this. But in terms of build order openings, Damaga is extremely ahead right now. So this is going to come down to some insane micro. Overlord sees it. So Stefano is aware of what he's playing against. Vibe, what is the right choice of action here? Do you cancel this hatchery? Uh, Do you let it go up and see if they, the other guy attacks it? Yeah, I, I think you, uh, you don't need to cancel the hatchery if there are not drones pulled. But in this circumstance, there's a nice trail of drones coming here, or a nice train of drones coming here. So you definitely have to cancel the third, or the natural, rather. And as you can see, Stefano cancels. So now it's going to just come down to a micro battle in the main. Uh, Demaga does have enough money for a single spine crawler. He's got two drones, mi uh, two drones mining back at home, and there we go. One spine is down. All about the micro, as you've already pointed out. Stefano immediately clicking to that natural expansion. He's going to surround this spine crawler, and can he force a cancellation on it? Uh, Demaga's just going to fight with everything that he has here. Stefano's trying to make it work. He's got a lot of money, so he can make four lings and a queen if he wants. Spine crawler right now untouched, and Stefano just surrounding and crushing with pure drones. Looks like he's going to hold that effortlessly. Yeah, that was uh, actually some pretty fancy micro. Like, he had a few drones on the bottom and the top that were taking the initial damage because they were surrounded, but he pulls them back, and they all manage to stay alive, So, and then they resume fighting after that. So that was really good micro on Stefano's part. He's not out of the woods yet, though. Spinecrawler has completed, and Damaga still has Zerglings in Stefano's base. Uh, Stefano's oh, spine is going to be forced to cancel, and right now this spawning pool is in range of, this, of, the, uh, of the spine. So Stefano's on the clock right now. He's got a very limited amount of time before this spawning pool is going to fall and he's not able to produce units. Yeah, uh, more drones are even going down now and Stefano's only down to three, so he's actually behind in the worker le or the worker count. One thing going in Stefano's favor, if he can clean this up without losing too much more, is he does have the queen, so he's going to be a he's going to have the advantage in that department because uh, uh, Demaga is still making lings, so we'll see what happens, I guess. Oh, Demaga in once again is going to kill off some of Stefano's zerglings, but... You know, the spine crawler from Demaga is really low on health, and uh, oh, Stefano. Spawning pool. Oh, oh, <laughs> Demaga. Like Don't forget about the spawning pool, Demaga. Uh, right, actually, Stefano just kills it. He's going to use these broodlings to come out and help him deal with this spine crawler. That, um, that was actually pretty smart. That I I, I got to hand it to the, or to Stefano there. He knew that. Uh, what Demaga was going for there was he was going for a uh, he was just going to switch his target and then at the last second kill the pool once the attack was going to like once he knew Stefano was going to hold the attack but then Stefano knew that Demaga was going to do like do that as well so it's some mind games going on there and uh, Stefano just decides he needs the units now which is the broodlings that would come out of the spawning pool to just clean up this attack now and prevent any further damage with uh, the spine color he already has crazy uh, situation we have here Stefano does have the worker lead he doesn't have a spawning pool. <laughs> and uh, how do you really evaluate who's ahead and who's behind in this spot? Uh, like I said, about the, the queen is the big thing here. And uh, Stefano st still manages to keep the queen alive throughout this whole attack. 
and Damaga hasn't started one yet. So I do feel that even though the pool has been killed and there has been a lot of drones killed by Damaga, there's been 15 drones that he's killed. I still he feels ahead. Uh, Stefano is still ahead just because of this queen. It's a huge factor. A little happy banter back and forth between these two guys. <laughs> yeah. Stefano's like, how do you still have drones? And Demaga's like, because I'm Ukrainian. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Funny piece of trivia about uh, Demaga vibe that you may not be aware of. Before he was a pro gamer, he was a jacket salesman. Really? And uh, I think he made about 300 bucks a month selling jackets in Ukraine. Oh, well, I could... Uh I, c I guess I could see that. <laughs> then he entered a StarCraft II beta tournament, uh, finished second place, won $1,500, and he said, hey, this is, this is pretty nice. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> He's not bad. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Demaga's a great guy, so I'm happy StarCraft II's been working for him. And uh, you can see right now Stefano is actually this getting is ready. Uh, this is hatch first from Stefano at 8 yeah, minutes exactly. and 20 seconds. <laughs> this nice little hatch first at uh, 20 drones here, or 19, or yeah, that was 20 since one drone went away. But you can see now, actually, Demaga's queen still isn't even out now, and he's almost got it out now. So uh, th this queen has definitely been doing wonders for Stefano. And, uh, yeah, po spawning pool goes down right now. Cute building placement for that spawning pool from Stefano. He's just going to use it to create a bit of a choke up at the top of his main ramp, also getting his first gas. Demaga going to go ahead and uh, take his own expansion. And, and like you said, Vibe, it's, uh, it's not a huge difference, but Stefano has a very... Uh, very real lead right now. Six workers. Um, not having this spawning pool basically hasn't phased him because Demaga wasn't putting on any additional pressure. He was just kind of falling back and trying to recover economically. And, and because he can l inject larva, Stefano's lead seems to be growing. Yeah, and then one thing, too, that's going to be really huge is the, uh, the amount of gas that both of them are going to be mining. I would say Stefano's going to have about 90 gas more than, uh, than Demaga here which means that there's going to be uh, a lot of time between upgrades here for the metabolic boost. Uh, Stefano's going to have probably about a, a little bit more over a minute where he's going to be able to have speedlings on the map, whereas Demaga won't. So this can kind of... Uh, Demaga can do a few things here. He can either go for... Like, you make a few speedlings and take a third out of this, or he can make a few speedlings and uh, he can either feign pressure or actu actually do real pressure. Either way works. If he does real pressure, if he, all he has to do is have good micro to win the game from here. If he feigns pressure, he forces the Maga into a position where since he does not have speed links of his own, he has to overcompensate for defense. So I would say it's it, this is a really kind of uh, interesting spot for the Maga to be in just because he, he's kind of on the guessing game at this point. If we go all the way back to the beginning of that game, the Maga left two drones mining back in his base. If he attacks with those two drones, do we have a different outcome? Uh, the, in the initial push has a little bit more of a punch to it, but uh, and I would say this map would definitely cater towards that because, like I said, there's no little tuck spot for your drones on this map. So I, it's kind of hard to say. The, the fight was definitely well microed by Stefano. I, he won kind of decis decisively in that fight. He saved a lot of drones in that initial engagement. So I don't know how much two drones would have changed. But um, uh, yeah, it, all, like it would have it would have had no follow up for Demago's push, so it would have the game would have ended a while ago. And I, I'm not sure if it would have gone either way, if it would have been different. Stefano did do a good job just then of denying any additional scouting from Demago, killing those two scoutlings before they even really got into the natural. So Demago's in the dark. If we look at his vision, we can see that it's pretty limited. He knows that Stefano has his natural. That Stefano's mining gases in his natural. But he doesn't have a real concrete feeling for the worker counts. And if we look at the worker counts, we can see they're pretty close, 37 to 35. But as you pointed out, Vibe, Stefano does have slightly faster upgrades, slightly more advanced tech with his layer already on the way, his veiling nest down, his roach worm completing, and plus one researching in his first Evo chamber. Yep. And one thing, too, I think might be happening here is, as you can see, there's there are no... Uh, there's no spine crawlers out for Demaga, and you can see his overlord outside the natural. He sees double gas, and this is relatively early, considering the game we're watching with the early pool attack and all this kind of stuff. It kind of makes the game like the, the usual timings are later than they normally would be. So I feel like Demaga might be thinking that Stefano could be going into a, a, a mutilist style right now. It's a, a possibility that I could see him. No! Oh, Stefano. But yeah, I think uh, Demaga could be thinking Stefano's going for a mutilist style this game. So he's going, he might go into infestors of his own, or he might make additional queens. You might see something like that happening. But instead, uh, Stefano's going for a really quick upgraded roach attack timing here, probably. Plus one roaches with speed is what we'll see. Uh, a little surprised that we're not seeing Stefano add in burrow. Yeah, I'm, this is also what I was kind of going on earlier. This is why I think Demaga is doing a bailing attack right here, because 
normally you would not want to do a banding attack against someone who has a Roach Warren. It's really not going to work that well. So I feel like the MAGA really does think that St uh, Stefano is just rushing to Mutilus. And then now he sees Roaches. Yep, and uh, not going to go very well for Demaga. Tries to get his banelings all the way through. Oh, Demaga with some sloppy control there, losing way too many Zerglings to banelings. And that puts him in dire straits vibe. Uh, I mean... <laughs> That fight in Demaga's position is extremely hard to micro, so I feel for him right there. But uh, I think it was just a wrong judgment call because of what he thought Stefano was doing. Maybe the brilliance is on Stefano's side for convincing Demaga. Yeah, I mean, the fact that he took uh, the double gas so quickly at the uh, uh, the natural, because he actually his last gas to be made was actually the fourth gas in his main. So he definitely, he might have known that, oh, Demaga has an Overlord out here. I've seen it before. I know he's scouting these gases. So I'm going to make him think I'm rushing my tech to layer. And oh, uh, it's definitely really smart. nice control from Stefano. Just pulling back these roaches, making sure that they can never be splashed on by more than uh, a couple banelings at a time. Yeah, nice and focus firing, too. Yep, and there's just nothing that Demaga can do. He knows it. GG gets called. Stefano evens up the series at 1-1 after a crazy game on Antigua Shipyard. Um, Demaga going for the all-in tin pool. Doesn't kill Stefano with it, but also doesn't kill himself with it either. Yeah, uh, I'm on any, on any, on most lap, uh, maps that are used in like standard tournament pools anymore, I would say that's definitely one of the best maps to do an all-in on, just because the mi the mineral line is so open and it's so, uh, it, it really relies heavily on your opponent having to have the micro to be able to survive, because you can't just do the little trick and survive. But uh, Stefano, as you can see, has insane micro. So Yes, he does. Out. Some of the best control in the business. Stefano takes game two, ties up the series. That last game brought to you by Epson Projectors, the number one projector brand worldwide with a full line of bright projectors with brilliant image detail. Check them out at epson.com slash projectors for more information. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with Stefano versus Demaga, the deciding game three after this.